Hi, today I'm continuing with beginner-friendly tutorials. Let me show you what I got for you. In this tutorial, I am creating this awesome animated swinging menu with using only HTML and CSS. And you are going to learn how to use CSS keyframes to transform transition duration and to achieve the same effect. Let's start. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's get it! Okay, I have set up plain index.html file with the plain HTML and body code inside of it and linked style CSS. So first we need to create navigation element, HTML nav element with ID of container. And I want to create unordered list with ID of menu. Now the next thing is that I want to create link elements for our navigation. The first one is going to be a portfolio and it's going to have a nested uh, sub menu, unordered list inside of it. Inside of those submenus, we want to create a, some random lorem with some text with anchor tags. So basically, these are going to be actual links in our submenus. So I'm going to paste three elements for this one, but this is just a random uh, representation of link. And the following menus are going to be exactly the same. So we are going to have portfolio, about, and contact navigation link. This is our HTML done. And now we want to head over to our CSS file to start actually styling this. I want to import some fonts from Google as I don't want to use any default fonts. I think those are gross. And I'm going to put some default uh, margin and padding and box sizing for all the elements on our page. Then I want to put some stylings for our body elements like font family, background, and height. And the next thing which I want to style is our menu. I'm going to set up height of 38 pixels. I want it to take full width of our page, to set slight border radius to five pixels, to give a slight margin, as you can see, the also dark background, how it looks now. Afterwards, I want to reset list style for both our menu and the submenu, because these are unordered lists and they have bullet points next to it. We want to style our Li elements of our menu. We want to set the float left, so all the elements are floated on the left side, you want the position relatively and give a border of one pixel to the right. And also we are going to put a perspective of thousand pixels. This perspective property is going to put our menu horizontally invisible to us. So later on when we can apply and transform, it will look like it's falling down. The next thing are top menu navigation links. And I want to position it relative and to give it a Z index of 10. I want to space it out, so I'm giving this padding to it, and I'm going to remove link text decoration, so basically it's none. Color should be white as our background is dark. Line height, font weight, font size, these are all the standard elements, and we want to put the background transparent so that the reset is below all the browsers. Also, we want to put a transition as we are going to apply some effect on hover. When we actually hover over our navigation links, we want to change the background to be a white and color to be green. Okay, that looks like we are making some progress. It's about damn time. Next thing which we want to style is our submenus. These submenus are going to show up once we hover over our top navigation links like portfolio, about, and contact. So we want to position it absolutely. We want to give it some position and the width. Opacity initially should be zero. We will get some border radius and overall hidden. And transform origin is responsible where our animation is going to be actually rotating. And that's it. Now we want to style uh, on hover how that submenu looks like. First thing we want opacity to be one, visibility to be visible. We're going to give some box shadow and animation which we are going to later on. Animation duration, so this is for opacity, is going to be one second and the timing of the function is going to be ease. Now let's create our keyframes for our swing down animation, which is going to give that swinging effect we are looking for. Our animation is going to have four steps, as once it's opened, we want to swing forward and backward a couple of times. First, we want to set the opacity to be 0.9 and we want to rotate X to 90 degrees. So this is going to put the menu to be visible to show up, as you can see here. Now we have nice slide down animation, but it's not swinging yet. 
So we want to introduce some backward swinging and we are going to set up these values to rotate X and rotate Y. And we are going to give some timing ease in, ease out. And this give us that backward swinging. That looks much better now. Now we want to push it forward. So it gives out that swinging effect from back to forward. And on the next step, basically rotate X is going to go to positive values and rotate Y to negative values, which is going to push our navigation. And on the last keyframe, we want to reset our menu to basically be on a position one without any rotation. So this is going to be final uh, position for our menu. And like that, our animation for our menu is done. The last thing is we want to give some effects when user hover over our submenu links so that we show them that actually they are interacting with these navigation menus. I'll set up transition duration for hover effect, color, font weight, and padding. And on actual hover, I want to set background to be dark. And that should do it. Let us see what is the end result of our animated menu. That's so simple, but so effective, I think. Yeah, we done it! <laughs> and that's all I got for you today. So make sure to subscribe to this channel as more videos and more tutorials like this are coming. Also, I would like to know if you have any comments and suggestions about the tutorials I'm making so far. So all the comments are appreciated. And also make sure to follow me on other social medias like LinkedIn and Twitter, where I post a lot of tips daily and it's all animated and really nice to understand, especially for beginners. And I wish you all a great weekend and see you in the next video.